okay so let's download some 3d objects from the google i am using google chrome you can use anything like internet explorer to download these things free3d.com you can download from any site i use this site because i like it it has many 3d objects for free and also for premium like you can buy some cool 3d paid objects you can see here is a gun rigid hands car also iron man you can download and import to your unity if you want this is a building set you can download this and import to your unity project okay so download whatever you want to download the free assets or anything you like i have downloaded a 3d model i will show you this is street environment i downloaded it from here so if you want to uh, import this project this this will download as a file extract this file this will extract these files okay so we if you want to import a 3d object so find the obj file this is a 3d object let's drag select this and drag to your unity directly this this is the easiest way to import anything in the unity see it's importing all these files there you go this is the street environment so let's move this environment to our scene now we can remove this plane we don't need this plane okay so it's look pretty good having buildings and roads which is not visible you have to give color to everything okay so in the hierarchy you will see this street environment is loaded here so if we expand this you will see these buildings have separate objects like we can uh, randomly move our objects from in this scene like if you want to move this house you can move wherever you want let's place back to the real place you can move anything we, you want okay this is the tutorial like i am telling you how you can import things in your unity so i have imported this you can import anything you want and just import any 3d object any environment the procedure will be same do, so don't worry so don't uh, find this same scene you can import anything just you want okay so if we hit play nothing will happen and the ball will not collide with the surface because we haven't added the box collider to the plane so this ball will not collide this and it will drop down see it's dropped down and it's not collide with the plane so we have to add box colliders to everything and we have to add colors and materials to all the our object okay so let's start i have already told you so let's create a folder here let's name it materials open this folder create new material right click in the create you will see material here so let's make name this to ground g r o u n d okay so this material is for ground let's drag to the ground now we can change the ground color like to something like this now this looks so awesome you can change anything like you can change to red but it not look so good it looking good here so let's and we can add metallicity 
to our roads like okay so it's looking so awesome now okay so let's select the plane or go to the plane here and listen if you select from the street environment tool and add the box collider here this will not work properly so you have to add box collider to every object this is the plane these are the roads and where the houses are put so we have to add box collider to everything like if you want to add box collider to the plane just go to the add components search for box collider okay so we have already created box collider on our player we have capsule collider so when we hit run it will collide with the plane okay so it's colliding with the plane and now we can move our player okay so it's awesome right you can run directly to your physical device okay so let's back here okay now uh, one more thing when we will hit run the player will not collide with the home because we did not add box collider to our home so you see it's not colliding it's not colliding with the houses and that's not what we want we want to collide with every object so you can select each buildings and add box collider now one more thing you have to check edit colliders like we are, these are the when you will press this this will open a open this green invisible walls these are the invisible walls which the your player will collide with like here this is perfect if you if you see this box collider wait wait you see in this house where we had add box collider there is no need i mean your player will collide here but here is more space so wait let me play and show you the player will collide here see it's colliding in at the there is no wall but it is still colliding with the invisible walls there is no physical walls but as it's still colliding so we don't want this so what we will going to do select this building edit the box collider move this walls to little closer to these walls we can add many box colliders to this object you can add many as many you want you can add 100 of box colliders it at a single place at a single object okay so let's drag this invisible wall to the this wall now it will not collide here but this we have this wall we want to collide with this wall okay so what we will do add a uh, another box collider here this is for home this is for walls this is for this wall okay so let's what happened to it let's select this wall to this box collider add at this box collider we have moved this to this wall now we have to drag to this wall so you can move by using this you can drag simply hit by it and you can change the view from here like if you want to see from there just press here and you will see this from this side Okay, so now 
it covers all these three walls now it will not collide with this walls also okay and one more thing like you can uh, add box collider to multiple buildings like if you select one building press shift and like if you want to select these all buildings so let's press shift and click on this this will select all the buildings now let's add component and add box collider it will create all the box collider for all these three all these buildings okay and then you can randomly edit the box colliders like add box colliders to them and you will see in every building have box collider okay so let's select all the buildings and add box collider so every building have now box collider now manually change the orientations for the layout like if you don't want your player to move at a random place or you want like in this house your player will not come to this place and if you want your player to come this place just add the box collider edit the box collider let's move this to little closer to this inner building inner wall and add two more box colliders 